beyond the financial constraints you face, what are the other strategic challenges facing the MTA? Well, as I mentioned, I think the, um, I think the use of technology is an is a, a absolutely critical challenge for the MTA right now. And I don't see that as a question of luxury. I think that's a question of necessity uh, for the MTA. It is really bringing the MTA into a world in which it, it has largely held itself apart from it. Um, I would say, you know, one of the things that's funny about this, and, and Beverly will remember this from, from the days back, um, when we did the MetroCard system, as, as, as you will recall, our, our first biggest impediment to doing the MetroCard system was we didn't have electricity. We didn't have the electricity that we could get to the turnstiles to be able to, to do this. And, and this is now, this is in, in the 1990s, and we were talking about the fact that electricity was an impediment to being able to do the, the thing. The impediment today for the, for the MTA is communications. It's communications. So much of our world is today built around communications technology. And, and by the way, that communications technology is not just when I talk about the, the customer technology, even when you talk about the new signaling systems and everything that happens, communications technology is what we have to be able to do. It is the enabler of change for the, for the, for the MTA. Um, I don't believe right now at a time when we're in the midst of constructing you know, three mega projects in New York City, at a time when we're dealing with it, I don't think right now is the time to lay out um, a new plan that goes out to 2030 or, or, or something of that, of that nature. I think right now is the time to show that we can do the things that we set out to do, that we can execute on, on bringing technology into the system, and to show people that that matters. Because I think we can, we can show people that that matters.